Okay, everybody, take a look at this. Look at that. Do, does anyone know, have a clue? Let me turn on my torch here, hold on. Look at that. Do you know what this is? These are the phlox flowers that I sowed like going on like four weeks ago. This is in honor of the late officer Alexander Orengo and his mom, Carmen Orengo, who unfortunately lost their lives to the coronavirus. And you have no idea how much this makes me so, so bloody happy. I mean, you have no idea. Look at that now. I know that that's not what I sowed. I think these are just rogue seeds, but they're going to stay in there because I kind of, I'm, I'm slightly curious as to what these will turn into. But look at that. There's one. There's the second one. There's a third one right there. Look at that. And I'm so excited because I babied these. I was like, I am determined to grow this. And look what determination gets you. This is fantastic. This is so amazing. I'm so happy. I know that most people would not find this exciting, but I am massively excited because all these flowers are absolutely stunning. And I learned, and I've grown these before. Um, I grew uh, the Phlox flower, the blue diamond one, uh, about two to three seasons ago. And um, it grew into this beautiful flower. It really was. But one of the things I did not realize or I had forgotten in, um, in, from gardening years ago, when I was just a boy, that's about 150 years ago, um, was that you've got to make sure there's an air current when they reach a certain, a certain height. And the reason why you want to make sure there's an air current when they reach a certain height is because it strengthens up the stem right there. It allows it to be strengthened. It also encourages strength in the root system. And then that way, when they get larger, they don't flop over, or when they bloom, they don't get too top heavy and then flop over as well. And look over here, brand new, brand spanking new, five gallon grow bags right there. Look at that. And this is going to be, and when these get to a certain height, I'm gonna carefully transplant them right into this puppy right here. And what's great is uh, this has encouraged me because I'm gonna get on a purchase now. I just thought of this right now. I'm gonna purchase a heating pad so I can go ahead and grow more of these fox flowers. And these are the, I, I sowed four, and it was two, two uh, fox flower, uh, it was the blue diamond, and the other two were the uh, lemon, or the limhi, 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 I believe, uh, fox flower. And I've never grown the limhi before, so I'm not sure exactly what type of bloom that's gonna happen. And I did see a picture of it before, but anyways, I'm rambling on. And so these three have now have bloomed, or not bloom, but sprouted, and they're growing rather well. They're getting strong. Um, I've been watering them every other day, or any time I feel like it's dry, like they need a watering right now. So I'll definitely make sure I water those. But the fourth one was sown at the same time, and it's the very first one you see here. Let me pull this out carefully, carefully. That's the fourth one. And nothing has sprouted out of that, not even rogue seeds. But when I did do the last video and I showed you that I purchased more Phlox flowers from David Seed Company, um, those are the three I sowed. One, two, and three. Let me point at them so you know exactly what I'm speaking of. That one, third one right back there, and that one. And so I'm gonna give these a watering too because I'm feeling a little, woo, careful. I almost dropped that. That would have been so heartbreaking. And so I've got a fan right here, brand new fan. Ordered that from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below so you can see exactly what type of fan this is. And uh, uh, go ahead and order one yourself. And it's a powerful fan, so be careful, because uh, if you do put it on your plants, you're gonna wanna make sure that they don't dry out too fast, okay? But right now they're doing fantastic. And I'm absolutely thrilled at my persistence and tenacity and determination to grow these because I just, uh, this makes me so happy, I can't believe it. And let me go ahead and pull this back a little. Oh, it's okay, everything's fine on that. Let me slide that back under. And forgive me, I'm also um, spun on a little bit of caffeine. I've been drinking coffee because I, I work constantly. And so, my, I swear to God, my heart's going to unfriend me on social media. Um, but look at this. One more view. One more view. Look at that. I could stare at this for hours. You know, but we're going to place them right back underneath the grow light. I'm going to give them a nice watering first. Make sure they get some water and then everything's good to go. Guys, this is fantastic. Alexander, Carmen, this is for you too, all right? You guys, are a part of you in spirit is helping this grow. I'm sure it is, right? I'm sure it is. This is so great. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Guys, 
please like and subscribe. Um, it helps out the channel so much. Uh, the algorithm, YouTube's algorithm, jumps for joy, sprouts, and so forth and so on. And uh, as always, guys, please be good to one another, all right? Treat each other with compassion, dignity, and a sense of caring, okay? We've been warring for far too long as a species. We're far too intelligent for this. And that whole warring thing is old. It is so old. Please be safe, be healthy, and God bless you guys.